all my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on my makeup routine using all cream products so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so before i get into the video i want to get a little housekeeping out of the way to all of my returning subscribers i love you and thanks for returning if you're new here i am bridget and on this channel i do makeup skincare sprinkled in with a little bit of lifestyle so if that's your cup of tea please consider subscribing to my channel I'd love to have you join the family now let's get into this look I recently did a video where I did my powder foundation routine and in that video I used all powder products I'll link it down below as well as put a card up above just in case you want to check it out during this video I'm using all cream products and I really think that if you have oily or dry skin no matter which category you fall under I think that using all cream products could benefit you you just want to pay attention to the type of cream products that you pick and what do I mean by that you need to pick cream products that either have a mattifying consistency or either they're self-setting so um, just about all of these products that I use um, either are mattifying or um, self-setting and to combat that because I have aging skin a lot of you all know I'm 50 years old so I don't really want that a very harsh mattifying look so to set all of this I did use a dewy setting spray so that really combated you know all of the dryness so anyway let's just go ahead and get into the first step you all know that I do my skincare prep I did that off of screen and I did prep my under eyes with my Elemis eye cream I talk about this all the time in my videos and for my moisturizer I use my Elemis uh, collagen moisturizer and in this this scene you can see me putting on my glam glow glam startup mega illuminating moisturizer and as you can see I place that particular product everywhere that I typically would highlight um, and that would be on my cheekbones on my nose and on my forehead uh, right there I just like to apply that sometimes under my foundations and I gotta say for those of you all who are sensitive to things like scents and fragrances this particular product is heavily scented it does have a very good scent but just wanted to go ahead and make note of that and here you can see me applying my concealer this is the super stay active wear by Maybelline and this claims to have up to 30 hours staying power I elected to use this particular concealer because it really has a mattifying look once it dries down that's why I elected to use my Elemis um, eye mask because this concealer is very very drying it doesn't have full coverage as you can see I did have to add on layers and then just kind of let it dry a little bit uh, before I blended it out uh, speaking of which when you go to blend out your products when you're using a cream product make sure you use your softest brushes and when you're um, blending all of your products out use a very 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 soft edge and start blending out from the outer part of your look don't start off from the inner and move out start from the outer and then move in so you can see me just kind of blending that out um, again in all of the areas that I want highlighted under my eye on my forehead on my chin um, and under my chin and I'm not sure if you all saw it or not but I did have a little redness right there by my nose for whatever reason I think my skin was angry today all right so my foundation I'm going to go in with the covergirl outlast extreme three-in-one foundation this is a full coverage foundation and I wanted to go ahead and use this because this product does have a mattifying dry down um, it, it sets itself you don't need a powder as you can see and as far as it being full coverage I really do think that it did a good job of uh, covering up my hyperpigmentation and all of the issues that I have it probably could cover them up even more if I went in with a second layer but this foundation is like absolutely too <laughs> mattifying for my book so so yeah you can see me blending that out and again I'm using a very soft brush I do go in um, and you'll see me go in uh, with a real technique sponge from time to time and just kind of soften up a lot of the areas all right so now I'm going to go in with my Huda Tantour this is the contour and bronzer cream and comes in a package like this 
and you can see me uh, applying it along my forehead and right up in here and as you can see this uh, particular shade on me does take on a cooler tone I don't have a, um, a cream concealer in my collection that um, is mattifying or either that self sets so I had to go ahead and use this shade so anyway I'm just kind of blending everything in and you'll see me from time to time going in and taking the brush that I use for my concealer and my foundation just to kind of blend different areas out because you want to make sure you have everything well blended so after I blended all of this out I go in with my highlight and I actually use two different products for my highlight I use my covergirl true blend super stunner liquid and it comes in a little package like this I'm not even sure if they sell this anymore uh, covergirl is notorious for coming out with products and then dis uh, discontinuing a lot of products and then coming out with new so you it's hard for you to keep up but anyway this is a liquid and I did use it uh, right here that's where you can see me applying it a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my forehead and after I um, apply that I do go in with a color pop highlighter and this is the shade wisp I'm not even sure if they still sell it anymore and this is a super shock cheek uh, pearlized highlighter very very pretty and you all know when you touch these products uh, they're like a cream and you you just but <laughs> you can see how mine is messed up because I've gone in it like accidentally ruined it when I first got it uh, then not understanding how soft it was but you can see me just going over it and applying it in those areas and then the last product that I use is my cream blush by rare beauty comes in this little cute packaging like this and this is the shade this is really pigmented guys I have seen where uh, some people say it's not pigmented I I just don't I'm, I'm not getting it on my end but let me just show you how pigmented it is so I'm just gonna go ahead so you see how that is right there see how pigmented that is and I have darker skin so um, very very pigmented so you really have to be careful when you're using that particular uh, cream product so and I go ahead and do my lipstick and I'm just adding in a MAC lipstick I gotta uh, check the name I'm not even sure if they still sell that shade anymore but I apply my MAC lipstick on my eyeliner and after all of that, I go ahead and set it with my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. And that is it. This is my makeup look using all cream products. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you like to use cream products. If so, what are some of your cream products that you like to use? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.